around the world have been following this sport for years, for decades. This is unbelievable. You know, that sign said it all that we saw. Say it ain't so, Dusty. Reminiscent of the Say It Ain't So, Joe, the 1918 Chicago Black Sox scandal. Well, it's so. He stabbed us all in the back. He spit in our face. You're kidding? The NWO stabbed more guys in the back than Joe Pesci. This is just the latest. There's your buddy, uh, Tony. My buddy. Wearing an NWO shirt. There's your buddy, Tony. When I talked with him on WCW Saturday night, this past Saturday, nothing could have Okay, prepared, Gus, uh, why don't you lay a little rap on him? Because everybody here wants to hear Dusty Rhodes testify. Oh, thank you, brother. Hey, is this just too sweet? I'm going to lay this on you, and I'm going to lay it on you one time, so you better pull up and listen to it, because we ain't going to talk about it again. In 1991, corporate America tried to tear down what I had helped build. They tried to tear down tradition of wrestling. I lived on the 12th floor. I wore the suit and tie. I talked with the suits every day. I said, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. And now you know what? You can take them suits and shove it, baby. Oh, yeah, I can say that. I can say that. They moved me down. They moved me down to do some color commentating. And after carrying Tony Schiavone for so many years, oh, I got so tired of it. I got so sick and tired of it. I got pain tired of it. You don't have to take that. Time. And then you know what, brother? Easy E Bishop Eve Dia. A man of vision. A man of one hell of a vision. And the New World Order became the sounding board for wrestling as we know it. The New World Order is why you are here tonight. The New World Order is why you watch television. The New World Order is why you go to the arenas. The New World Order is what makes everybody a living at WCW. Because everybody knows when you're NWO, you NWO. Now, dear, let me tell you one other thing here before you start that music. Tony Giovanni said, why don't somebody go down and do something about this? Why don't somebody jump up and go down and do something about this? I went down, I did something about it, and Larry Zabisco, let me tell you something, there is no comeback. There will be no comeback. And all you marks on the internet, there will be no comeback. And last but not least, J.J. Dillon, don't you ever come and tell us what to do. We will do what we want to do, when we want to do it, how we want to do it, and to who we want to do it to. And the power bomb, last but not least, my man Kevin Nash. If I'm 480 pounds, right? and I'm seven foot four, and I can't get in the ring and defend myself, I shouldn't even be getting in the ring with the giant killer, Kevin Nash. Bottom line, that's what I'm gonna say about it, like it or not. And for my man Six Pack, you're just too sweet, baby. Just too sweet. So without further ado, let's get it on right here in Memphis, Tennessee. This does not even deserve to react, and I'm not going to give it one. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. To okay. heck with him. Okay. He carried you, huh? Didn't carry him.